What is up, YouTube? We are here in Toronto. I was trying to make it home. I had a little pit stop on the way, so I was in Chicago for Thanksgiving with Courtney, and a little bird was hanging out in Toronto from Canada. A little <laughs> British bird was down here, so I figured I'd stop by Toronto, say what's up, get a training session in. I'm not gonna lie, we haven't met before, but I've seen this guy on social media, and I've honestly like been pretty hyped about his physique. There's, a, there's not many guys who are the, like tall and actually have like a nice physique at tight waist. And I think he has a lot of potential. So he seems like a nice guy. Decent bloke, okay. Bit of a dickhead. Bit of a dickhead. <laughs> but this is the kid right here. So Mr. Brandon Harding. What's up? AKA hard body. Hard body. AKA Brandon's soft, soft body, body right yeah. now. Because yeah, <laughs> it's off season. <laughs> but yeah, so we were trying to get in the States. A little bit of visa issues at the border and didn't yeah. make it. So we got stuck in the home country up north in Canada. Spending a month in Toronto, so I figured I had to come out. I had to get a session in, show you guys what might be a potential future IFBB pro because he's going to come over the IFBB league from the Europe and I have a lot of faith he's going to. He's got a sick physique, he's actually strong, trains hard so we're going to get a sick leg day. I'm weak as fuck, I'm skinny as fuck, I'm natty as fuck right now but <laughs> <laughs> that's okay. He's going to squat heavy, I'm going to see what I can do. I'm going to try and squat heavy. I'm going to try and hit 500 pounds for the first time, five plates and a nugget. I've never done it before so milestones. hopefully today with the help and the motivation of this guy right here, 500 pound will be, be achieved. Will be achieved. Speak it into the universe and it shall come. 500 plates, I basically already got it. 500 plates? Dude. 500. <laughs> okay, we gotta get started this workout. Yeah, I basically already got it. We've been waiting forever to do this. Natty Chris. Natty cool. Chris, how are we feeling? Feels heavy. Heavy? It used to feel like butter. Those were the easiest reps on three plates I've ever seen. Didn't feel easy. <laughs> We got a deadlift bar here. Yeah, so bouncy. That's kind of hard to swallow, so it's so bouncy. It's a deadlift bar, right? Yeah, yeah. But longer and it's got more whip. So we're accidentally grabbed the Texas deadlift bar, which means it's a couple inches longer and it's got more whip in it, so more flex. So when you deadlift, it helps you pull it off the ground. But when you're squatting, bouncing on your back and it's hard to balance so it makes you wobble. Especially when you have 400, 500 pounds on it. So you can try this. Yeah, I'll give it Something how it feels and then worst comes to worst, we'll switch the bar. Now it's Shit, that's a lot. I'm playing dad actually. I'm being the mature dad right now. <laughs> Seeing like the potential in my son down below that you can do something stupid and break himself, but I had to be the wise old soul today. <laughs> oh. Clean reps. Not bad. Not bad. That was pretty it's not good. Heavy, man. But and the difference between me and this guy. <laughs> These are the headphones you wore on prep. Those are the headphones I wore on prep. <laughs> Come on, easy. Up. Oh, easy. Come on. Easy. <laughs> Get his eyes right now, get his eyes. You can oh, like see yeah. glitter. I'm proud of that. That was a good rep. So, he did it. A round of applause everybody for <laughs> Mr. Brandon Harding. Join the 500 pound club. I told him a couple weeks ago if he didn't hit 500 pounds, I wasn't training with that. I was gonna fucking leave. The day after we train, I was gonna leave tonight. I was gonna get on a plane and go home. So, very proud of him. People don't really realize that like, he's, he's even taller than me, right? You're 6'1"? Six 6'1". One? Six one. I'm six foot and seven eighths, technically, when I head in. So people don't realize a lot of these guys squatting like 600 pounds and shit in the gym are like five foot five. And it's, it's not, you know, 
I'm impressed. <laughs> and everyone always asks, tall guys, right? How many times do you get it? Tall guys, how do you build your big legs as a tall guy? How do you do it? There's, There's no, do no it. secret to training legs other than intensity. You can't like, like pop your eye blood vessels after a set of squats, you're not gonna have big legs, especially the tall guy. It's worth it, it's a lot more worth it. Yeah, yeah it might be harder to get there, but when you do get there, you fill out a frame, you become Mr. Olympia. You can become Mr. Olympia. <laughs> World is your oyster. Treats post workout. <laughs> Easy five plates. Good man. Nice. <clears throat> Wrapping up this leg day. Normally I start with squat extension, honestly. Pretty good. Fire through them, warm up my knees, because I have old man knees like we keep establishing. <laughs> but we're finishing off with them today. And then we're gonna call it quits and we're gonna get some juicy food. Nice. So we just wrapped up the leg day here at Pure Muscle and Fitness. Ran into a couple old school Canadian legends too. Antoine Vaillant and Frank McGrath were in here training. It's pretty cool. It's a cool vibe gym. It's fucking sick. Everything is so clean, brand new. It's got every piece of equipment you could imagine. It's good shit. I like it here a lot. Wish it was closer to home, but it is what it is. But we had crushed a good workout. We got a 500 pound squat. Very nice. You're welcome to the club. So I'm allowed to communicate with him because he's <laughs> cool now, it's okay. But we're gonna go grab some food because we are absolutely starving. Eating twice today, it's like 8 p.m. A couple spicy tuna, a couple sashimi, <laughs> and sashimi. Sakasami. Sushi. <laughs> Look like a murderer. <laughs> this is my eyes are just like black. A uh, pose from looking like a murder serial killer here. We're at sushi because is there any better post workout meals than sushi? Not really. We got fat rolls here. Lots of avocados. You can see a lot of green here. So we're getting our healthy fats in and we're gonna get huge. Hey Brennan. Absolutely massive. That's about all this, so let's dive in. Try four plates for the sixth time ever, but this could be the day. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. <laughs> 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 oh my god! There you go.
This is the transforming machine apparently. You pull a random lever here and the full thing slides back like that. That's shoulder press, you can make it a flat bench. This is like gentle. <laughs> gentle, this is very expensive. <laughs> What's nice about this is that it's like one arm at a time, you know? Yeah. So each arm is getting the same amount of weight. So you realize you have an imbalance of like... <laughs> I'm with <weird. laughs> ready. <laughs> so, so we've all seen that old video. I think it was a clip in Pumping Iron too. It was like an old ad of Arnold Schwarzenegger. He's got like two girls hugging his legs, two girls on his shoulders, and this metal bar. And he's just like bending it like this. Telling like some infomercial from like the 70s telling that that's how you got a big chest. <laughs> that is exactly that. That bar put into a machine is this right here. So pretty much we're gonna have a chest like Arnold by the end of this workout. In just three sets. Just a shelf. <laughs> <laughs> Snowing. You should come snowboarding in shorts. I'll do it. It suits you. Get the calves out. Will you do it with me? Will I snowboard in shorts with you? Yeah. Not if you <laughs> need you. <laughs> <laughs> 